what's going on? This is your boy Forever Brandon TV coming back to you guys with another video on Living Legend, my girl, Tony Braxton. Guys, yes, Braxton, right, right in time, just in time for Braxton Family Values. Y'all know I have to see it. Y'all know I love me some Braxton Family Values. Y'all know I love all the Braxtons. Uh, I am here for this album this amazing eight track album guys the itunes version is eight tracks the target version is uh three uh three bonus tracks so i have to buy the target version i'm excited about that but guys this is the classic tony with the darker edge now y'all know tony braxton doesn't Never curse on any of her songs. Like she might say "damn" or "hell," a uh, 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 throw. She might throw the words in uh, 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 for a few minutes, and then that's it. But she's saying the f word, and she, you know she's just kind of showing this badass Tony. And I live. For it is it's badass Tony, but it's with it's still in a classic, sexy way. And I live, y'all know Tony Braxton is one of my favorite artists. I grew up on Tony Braxton, like everything she does. I love just her uh, you know, she's a strong artist, and this is a strong album. I think this is probably one of her best, you know, uh in a long time. She hasn't made a solo album in maybe like eight years or something like that. And you know, the last project she did recently was with Babyface, Love, Marriage, and Divorce, guys, uh, which it was supposed to be rumored that there was supposed to be a second one. And as you all know, uh, she's uh, engaged to Birdman. You know, I just, I y'all know personally, like, I'm not a Birdman fan. Y'all know, I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know, you know, what Tony really sees in Birdman, but... You know, they are engaged to our item and she seems happy with them. They've been together for kind of for a little minute and um and I hey, they've been together. But anyway, long story short, she has this album as a reminder for her ex. She's kind of, you know, going back into old memories and you know, saying how bad he hurt her, how bad that he, you know, basically came in the bedroom smelling like sex sex and cigarettes. Like he's just Basically came in her bedroom and smelled like nasty ass cigarettes and just was just putting his crusty ass feet on her on her bed sheets and was just doing and was just going like I just can't I can't but anyway uh Tony went in on his ass and uh she just basically put his ass together the ex got get your life okay get your life because Tony Braxton ain't having it Okay, so <laughs> the first song is Deadwood, guys. I love the song. I think I, I believe I reviewed it. I'm not sure. I probably didn't. I probably didn't review. I probably didn't get a chance to review or I, or I didn't review Long As I Live. Uh, but Deadwood is an amazing song. He basically saying she he left his trifling ass left her like some Deadwood and. You know, that's not good in a relationship. You know, she's trying to be with the per yeah, she's trying to be with you and you left her like you you left her burning like dead wood. And I live for the song. Tony was singing her ass off. I like it. It's such a classic guitar joint and it's a beautiful song. Uh, I really, really like it. Sex and cigarettes. Now she was going in. When I tell you I love this song. Like when she was putting it all on the table, she's kind of cursing a little bit. She letting this bad, badass Tony kind of come out, and she just going in. And I live for it. I live for <laughs> sex and cigarettes. It's an amazing song. She's basically saying, well, "How you gonna come in her bed smelling like sex and and and, 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 and vagina? Okay, C cigarettes and, and and another girl's coop coop. <laughs> okay, all right." Uh, that's what she's basically saying. Long as I live, as long as she lives, she's you know uh uh, uh never she's never she's hard to get over this person. Basically, what she's saying. I y'all know I I love the song. Such a '90s classic vibe. This is typical uh Tony Braxton, and I believe I think I was hearing that Babyface had did the song or something like that. Uh, it's a really really good song. I love it. Long as I live, I did not get a chance to review it, but I love it. It's just. 
She just just really sounds amazing on this album too as well. Like she's really hitting some notes. Uh 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 fuck out of here. She's basically saying F out of here. Like she's like, I've been dead for you. I've been trying to do everything for you. And and and, and, and you treat me like this is basically what she's saying. So she's saying, get the fuck out of here. I live for it. She said she said something about you got this, you treating this other bitch the way that she used to treat me and you showing her, you know. So she's basically just in her feelings on the song because she's speaking from the heart. I live for it. Y'all know Tony speaks her mind. And I I I love it. I just I just really, really like it. I really, really do. The next song is um Sorry. I let me tell y'all something. This song really, 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 really is a good song. She's basically saying she's sorry for, uh, you know, that she couldn't keep, uh, she couldn't keep him. She's sorry that she couldn't, you know, be with the, uh, be with him and keep him, you know, when she had him, basically. Then, uh, we got My Heart. This song blew me away. When I tell you, Tony was hitting some beautiful, beautiful runs. Beautiful notes like on this song. Also featuring Kobe Kelly. I guess he was the one that was kind of like on the on the music, the like the guitar. This song was just so relaxing to listen to, and she just sounded so amazing. Uh this song was kind of giving me um secrets a little bit. Uh it was giving me secret vibes. It was kind of giving me a little bit of uh, the heat. And all at the same time, I was really, really living for it. Um Coping is best to say she's trying to cope with uh, what she's going through, you know, or, or she's trying to cope with the heart. Well, her heart, her heart can't take it. She's just trying to cope with it. She's just saying that she's, you know, been, you know, she just, she, she's been hurt, but she's trying to cope with her feelings. And uh, missing is a nice little song. It's basically saying she she's missing being with the person. I I think that this song is dedicated to Birdman. Um, uh, 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 you know, um, I guess you know the turmoil of the album is she went from a tragic relationship to somebody that she really uh wants that she really loves being with. And Birdman is you know she recently just that that's the recent, and so. Uh, in a way, this album was 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 basically uh, just dedicated to her ex, but you know, saying that you know she's happy, and obviously she's very happy if she she's engaging, she's tr being engaged to Birdman. So, you know, good for her, good for her. I was I, I wish him the best of luck, y'all know. And um, but Tony, this album beautiful it's just it's it's classic it's just that tony her voice is just was so memorable about her her career has took her very far tony has been through it all and she you know she paved the way for so many artists and just she's just said amazing y'all know i love the braxons period um i'm missing me some tape mar i really am but uh i gotta catch up with braxton family values i gotta get back up on that and see you know what's the deal with this new season with season six okay i can't wait but this is forever Brandon tv signing off i hope you guys enjoy have a safe day